Welcome back to and this guide. In today's video, we are going to show you how to add timer in Miro. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time in Miro, I need you to click the sign up option. And from here, just to follow the on screen instructions and you're good to go. Adding a timer to your Miro board is helpful for keeping track of time during meetings, brainstorming sessions, or workshop. Now, a timer ensures that all activities and discussions stay within their allotted time, preventing meetings or workshops from running over or um, going um, exceeding the time limit. It encourages participants to be concise and focus on promoting efficiency. Now, now, there are two ways for you to add a timer here on your mirror board. One is just hover to the upper top corner where you can see the timer. All you're gonna do is as you can see, is just click this, but you need to upgrade to use these features, all right? You can get access to voting, video chat, and timer with any paid plan. Now, obviously I can't uh, click on this tool because my subscription is only free, but if in case you really wanted to put the timer on your mirror board for your team collaboration, just click on the upgrade button here and what will happen is you would be forwarded to another page where you just have to select the uh, business. It's just up $16 per month. This is for advanced collaboration. But if you feel like you're just testing waters, engaging if the Miro app is the platform for you, just click on the starter, which is $8 per month. It is billed annually for $10 per monthly, and you can unlock a limited and private boards with essential features. That includes the timer. But if you're scaling up to the enterprise, I highly suggest you talk to a sales professional first before you commit into something, all right? So that's one way. Now, the next option that you can do is go to the left side panel of your dashboard and hover to the more apps, okay? And then type in timer. If you can't find it, just click on the Miro Marketplace and you would be forwarded here to the Miro's official marketplace. And all I'm going to do is type in search to see if you get a timer. Now, if you can't find the timer here, it's basically that they put the timer here on the uh, top right corner because in the past, before the update, the latest version that I work with, you need to click on the apps to get the timer. But now, essentially, the timer is here, right? It's a very straightforward process, really, that would give you a sense of urgency, motivating participants to work more quickly and effectively right you see because in workshop settings timers help structure activities like brainstorming sessions voting and breakout discussions making the process smoother of course you can use timer to manage breaks ensuring they are short and that teams returns promptly now the thing is if you can't see the timer on any part of your mirror board uh interface even on the apps i highly suggest you contact the Miro support center and from here all i'm gonna do is type in your questions to see if you get an answer or go back to the Miro help center home page just go to the troubleshooting and technical questions if you get a hold one of these support staff tell them you are having problems adding your timer in Miro, or you can't find the timer in any part of your Miro dashboard and one of the support staff will give you insights and troubleshooting steps on how to fix this issue all right and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching if you haven't already please subscribe to andy's guides youtube channel to get the latest update all right we will see you again in the next video